Hey everybody, it's Stable Gamer here and welcome back to Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. In this video, we have an event video for you. This is Den City equals mass over volume. It's the first event video we've had in a while outside of a stream. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this new event and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and what I think this event is probably best for. So first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel, you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So we have the in-game mail. We're gonna go over here in just a second, just a couple reminders first before we jump into all of this. All the links to my social media are in the description of every video, so definitely check that out. Join us on Discord where we're talking about the game, sharing tips, tricks, and strategies. And then I do stream a couple times a week. The link is in the description below as well. I stream on Twitch. Uh, if there's any changes in my schedule, I'll typically put it out on my community tab, but I do stream every Saturday and usually Mondays and another day of the week, so uh, keep an eye out for that. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this. This event is a little bit different. Uh, this one is, it, it's not a, well, it's a new event, but it's kind of a rehash, uh, getting together a bunch of city tunes and things like that. I won't really say rehash, scratch that. It's not really a rehash, but um, it's a bunch of tunes in there that are city that we can go ahead and farm, we can collect. The reason why it's so different is the only wheels that we have are golden ticket wheels, and they're two different golden ticket wheels. And then we have a ton of balloons to exchange in the exchange in the store. So we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look at this, talk about the event, give you my thoughts on, on this event here, kind of how I would grade it. And we are going to wrap up the video with some wheel spins. I got some golden tickets. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play around with that because it's always fun to do some wheel spins. All right, so if we just take a look at this, we're going to jump right into the quests here. And it's all about uh, <laughs> it's all about collecting um, city tune pieces. That was that first part. I was able to clear that pretty easy just by exchanging what I wanted from the exchange, the balloons for the characters that I wanted. And then obviously we you got your usual here, right, where you're collecting epic and legendary city tunes right there. So I'm at 1,200. Uh, 1500 some decent rewards quite a bit of energy that you get here which i think is pretty cool um the golden tickets uh you know they're okay uh we're going to be going on to collecting your traffic lights which comes in handy with the challenges and things like that and the milestones so that comes in handy right there you'll get some decent uh gems and balloons there and then uh just finishing the different acts the different episodes which can be a little bit difficult because as you work your way through these different acts, the requirements for completing them do get quite a bit tough. And then uh, we have our regular, uh, regular daily uh, uh, tokens there. So if we just go ahead, let's jump. Well, actually, let's jump into the rules. Uh, how do we score points in this event? It's pretty simple. We're collecting materials, which is the balloons. We're completing event quests using campaign, and we're, and we're collecting any city tune, which is great. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. What I really like is these, these rewards, I feel, are pretty good. I mean, right now, I haven't even invested a whole lot of time into this. Maybe about an hour, hour and a half, working through as much as I can right now. And uh, I've got 40,000 points there, almost up to that 50,000. But we're getting some pretty decent rewards in here, I feel, for for tuning up your uh, city tunes here. So um, I, I think 150 may be pretty doable there. So we got some good, decent rewards there. So let's go ahead, jump into the campaigns here and kind of walk through them because there's quite a bit. We've got City Life. You can farm each one of these. There's six of them. Uh, this first one is really easy. Obviously, you're going to run through that pretty quick. You only got a max team of 8,000. Where it starts to get a little difficult is once you get into this second act for this um, episode two because then you're going to start requiring uh, tunes that are six star. So your six star, um, your six star house party team here. Excuse me for a second. There we go. Um, in order to go ahead and continue past this and finish this up. Now, when we take a look at the other ones, now that one is not a bad a bad episode. That one is the house party team. It's very cool. Bus stops pretty easy. You start getting into rush hour, and you start getting into these tunes that are I don't know. Um, chauffeur and mail runner. Mail runner's okay. Chauffeur. Uh, I don't know why this team is put together exactly. Um, uh, Zoot Suit's great. Penelope Couture is great as well. Um, hopefully you've got Mail Runner and, and Chauffeur built up. I don't have either one of them built up too much, so I can only go so far in this one. It's kind of a weird combination 
to be honest with you, but go as far as you can there, and you're going to run in into the same things down here where you're going to be required to have your five-star tunes down here and then six-star tunes. And then we're running into this one. This one is okay. Let me go ahead and take a look at who we need. Um, so we've got uh, we've got Joe Monday, who's a great tune. We got Bat Suit is great. Egghead, he's um he's brand new, and I don't know. The jury's out on him, in my opinion. There was a bug with him for a little while. He wasn't doing any damage, and uh, so jury's out on him. I do want to play around with him a little more. And then we have Mr. Sam, who's kind of eh. so you guys a couple good characters in each one of these so far that are are mixed in with some. Eh, characters. I think really the intent is kind of to have you build up your whole roster, right? So that you can take advantage of everything. I get that. I get that. It's just kind of funky. These uh, the uh, these pairings. House Party is a great pairing. That's a great. That is a great synergistic team. Probably one of the best synergistic teams in the game. We have this one here. Leopold is great. Um, suck attack, flaming Succotash. Eh, I really don't use much. I'm not sure how much. Anybody really uses him. Uh, Sylvester Jr., obviously, I think he's pretty good. I just haven't done much with him um, as my focus has been elsewhere. And then we have uh, Phantom Le Pew there. So, kind of eh. Those ones, um, those characters aren't too bad. Flaming Second Dash, kind of eh. Uh, and then we have, finally, this Nightlife one, which is all about uh, collecting materials and things like that. So, it does get progressively more difficult, just like any event should. Uh, I think the best part of this event, though, my two cents, the best part of this event is House Party. If you don't have your House Party team built, put together, use this event to build that team. I think that's probably the best part of this one. All these other characters and everything have had a fair number of events, especially recently. House Party doesn't come around too often, though. So that's, um, that's where I would suggest you use your balloons. So if we go into exchanges here... And we take a look at uh, at what we get. You get a hundred. You get a hundred pieces for each one of these. Uh, you have to spend sixteen hundred balloons, but they rack up pretty quick because you get a few hundred every time you clear one. But you get a hundred pieces of each one of them, and you get a little bit of gold there. So if you have your house party team, if you have them all, and you're able to work your way through that, I would highly suggest that use this event to build up that team specifically. If if you need rank up materials then use their balloons if you've got them to where you want them if you got them up to 7.7 .7 star or even or, or even at 6 or 7 star and you want to tune them up and to get uh, to get them stronger then uh, I would use my balloons on the city materials and the gold here you get a ton of gold 250,000 gold you get a lot of experience potions you get your traffic lights this is also another way to complete that quest um, that event quest you got uh, superior dynamite so this is pretty de uh, pretty decent right there when it comes to this, if you got everything done and all you need is this, this isn't bad either. So it really depends on where you are in collecting your tunes and you know which characters you want. My suggestion, what I want, what I'm focusing on in this event is House Party. Getting them all the way up to at least six stars so I can finish that second act. And then I'm going to go in and use my balloons on this because I need to rack up some gold. I need some, <laughs> I need some rank up materials here, some, some tune up materials here so I can go ahead and get them as far as I can because it's a great team to have it's an awesome team and uh, if you haven't played around with them too much then I definitely uh, I definitely would suggest that all right and these other teams kind of eh, uh, I, I I'm not going to be putting any balloons into any one of those all right so there we go with that so let's go ahead jump on over to the wheel so we got two wheels here no, you don't want to take a look at my boost. We want to go to the wheel here. We have City and we have Skyscraper. City really focuses more on the house party team, which is what I'm focused on. So these are the, this is the wheel that I'm going to spin. This other one is uh, focused on the other characters, the other uh, tunes that are required in the other campaigns. Penelope Couture, again, is great. Zoot Suit is great on here, but I'm going to get more bang for my buck or more bang for my golden ticket on this wheel right here. So this is what we're going to go ahead and spin. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's my take on it. I think it's an okay event. It's kind of eh. We've had a lot of conversations on this channel about the quality of events. Um, we had the event developer on here. Had a great conversation with him. And the, the, the direction and the way that these events have been going have been great. The community feedback has been great as well. Um, this one here, eh, not overly excited about it. But eh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, every event's not going to be perfect, and you're not going to make everybody happy with every event. However, it is a useful event. If you find out, if you find out what you want to use the event for, 
then uh, then that's what then that's what you should definitely focus on. And for me, it's house party. All right, there's my two cents. I think I've talked long enough. Let's go ahead, spin this wheel. I don't have the 48 tickets, but uh, we're going to go ahead and spin this wheel as off and use up all my golden tickets. Hopefully, I can get some house party because I need to get Tweety and Sylvester up to six stars so I can finish that second act. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if I can get any luck. <laughs> there we go. We got Hector, which is great. 135,000. I mean, 13,500. Damn. I had, that has to be a jackpot, right? No? No, it's just because of all, it's because of all the, the pieces there. So we got some nice, some nice progression for, for Hector. I just need 26, 26 more for Sylvester there. So let's go ahead and do that again. Another 12 tickets. See what we can get here. Tweety's good. 13, no, didn't get a jackpot. There we go. We got Sylvester up to a six star. So now I just need to focus on Tweety. Oh, I need two more, 200 more. And then Tweety is at six star. So that's good. There we go there. That is nice. How many do I have left? I've got seven. I've got seven. Let's go ahead and just spin it. See what we can get. I need Tweety. 5,000 there. 250. One more. Give me Tweety. Give me Tweety. Nice, got 100 there. So I need less than 100 and I can go ahead and get that second act done. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it was uh, well worth the golden tickets there. All right, everybody, that's what I had for you. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this event. What are you focused on here? What are you most excited for out of this? We got some other cool stuff coming out this month. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that in another video. All right, everybody, I've droned on long enough. As always, I wanna thank you all for taking the time to watch the video if you liked it. Make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.